the significant role of urine pH in the formation of kidney stones. Our urine generally consists of water, salts, and waste substances that are filtered by the kidneys. The balance of these components can affect the alkalinity or acidity of urine. The term pH refers to the potential of hydrogen, which measures the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution, such as urine. Ideally, urine should have a neutral pH level, ranging from 6 to 7.5. However, a slightly wider range from 4.5 to 8 is generally considered acceptable. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. It can be alkaline or acidic. The pH of urine is a crucial risk factor to consider when it comes to kidney stone formation. It directly affects certain types of kidney stones, such as calcium phosphate stones and uric acid stones. Here are a few reasons why urine pH analysis is important. Urine pH uh, can um, indicate how well the kidneys are functioning. Healthy kidneys help regulate the acid-base balance in our body, and changes in urine pH can be a sign of kidney problems. An abnormal pH level can be a clue that metabolic disorders are causing an imbalance. There is also a risk of uh, kidney stone formation. Monitoring urine pH can help identify individuals at risk of uh, developing certain types of kidney stones. Consistently, alkaline urine may be associated with a urinary tract infection. So, what are the causes of alkaline and acidic urine? Urine pH becomes alkaline or acidic for several reasons. We need to eliminate these possible causes to ensure an optimal pH. Diet is one of the key factors that can affect urine pH. The food we eat contributes to the alkalinity or acidity of our urine. For example, highly alkaline foods include most fruits, vegetables, especially leafy green fruit vegetables such as sweet potatoes and carrots, nuts, seeds, legumes, herbs and spices. These include, for example, basil, parsley, cilantro and grains such as quinoa and millet. On the other hand, there are foods that can cause an increase in the acidity of uh, urine. Refined grains such as white bread or pasta, processed foods, caffeinated beverages, as well as sweet products like soft drinks and alcoholic beverages. By the way, there used to be a misconception that foods high in protein cause acidic urine. That's not true. A person with a healthy gut will not encounter this problem since meat, dairy products and other animal-based foods are effectively digested and metabolized by humans. The next stage is dehydration. When dehydrated, the body tries to retain water by reducing urine out. The kidneys respond by concentrating the urine in order to preserve as much water as possible. By concentrating the urine, the kidneys actively reabsorb water and essential electrolytes such as sodium while leaving waste products and excess ions behind. This can lead to a higher concentration of acidic waste in the urine, resulting in a lower pH that is, the urine becomes more acidic. Also, um, medications have an effect. Some medications can alter urine pH either as a side effect or as part of their intended therapeutic action. Here are a few examples. Acidifying agents such as ammonium chloride are used in metabolic conditions. Methanamine is an antibacterial agent. Potassium citrate, sodium bicarbonate, diuretics, as well as antacids. So um, I've just given you a quick overview of what can change urine pH and how this can lead to the formation of kidney stones. If you found this interesting, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my social media. Here you can also find a video about urolithiasis, and in the next video I'll tell you how to deal with kidney stones during pregnancy, because that also happens quite often. If you have any questions, or even if you or your relatives have urolithiasis, feel free to contact me via private messages. We will definitely solve this problem together.